What's up guys? Um, hello. So I just uh, watched Ellie Hoss's video. On um, He made a video which I'm going to make a response video to. It's called My Girlfriend Looks Good But She Could Look Better. Um, yeah, check that video out if you haven't already. Um, basically, um, well, first of all I want to say that Ellie is the only person uh, in the YouTube fitness community that actually uses the word consciousness in his videos. And for that I applaud. And uh, and also I want to give him uh, yeah his birthday today happy birthday Elliot and um, very impressive uh, that he stayed with the same woman for uh, 15 uh, how many years is that 20 years that's the life tips that I'm getting from him persistency but um, I do have a few problem with his videos I'm gonna have to disagree with a couple of things uh, the first thing that well basically he's he he's uh, told this this his subscriber that um. Uh, he shouldn't uh, impose his imagination onto the girl. His girlfriend. He said that his girlfriend. He wants to drag his girlfriend to the gym, and that because uh, he, in his uh, imaginary fantasy, his girlfriend should look better, should have a tighter ass, and he wants to fulfill that fantasy by dragging his girlfriend to the gym. And Alia here argues that um, the perception or the uh, the idea or the ideal version of his girlfriend. Is actually imposed by society through commercials and and Barbie dolls and, 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 and things like that. What do you know that doing? And, and things like that. Um, and I want to argue that uh, that is partially true, but I think um, for the most part that's genetics. For the most part, that's a, that's nature's problem. I think everyone has an ideal version of what. Uh, your ideal mate should look like and although there's variety it's pretty close you know for guys uh, muscular bodies broad shoulders high cheekbones and um, you know pronounced features nose things like that are, are all signs of testosterone signs of high testosterone means that if you have sex with that man your baby would be healthier uh, and um, which is why we evolved a certain beauty cues our brains is going to seek after those cues, right? I think that's mostly genetics, mostly uh, the results of millions of years of evolution. Evolution gave us a brain to pick out those beauty cues. And, um, and for women, for, for men to look at women the same way, uh, uh, I mean, um, women have beauty cues too, and, and that is a tighter ass, a rounder, you know, boobs and, you know, and, 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 you know jawline, you know, thin jawline and uh, smooth skin, you know, Science that represents youth and fertility, right? Because if you have sex with this woman, you would have uh, again healthier babies, and that is more beneficial to not your just your gene lines, but the species as a whole, right? So, um, although I believe that is the case, that everybody in different society have a pretty close standard of what constitutes a beautiful person, I don't think that you should apply this ideal to the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I think it's even more honorable if your girlfriend isn't up to the standard of the genetics, uh, the evolutionary the, the evolutionary standard of what um, beauty should look like. So because if you commit to what nature wants you to commit, for example, if uh, nature uh, designed men to cheat more often than women because we have more sperms and want to pass it on, so infidelity is almost um, a sort of a, a given for a lot of uh, for, for men and but that doesn't mean that you should right we are also prone to violence but that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that we should just go and kill people we don't like that worked back in the days when we we're hunters and gatherers uh, but you know the world back then wasn't very nice you know violence was uh, a lot more you know frequent so we live in a very peaceful society uh, the most peaceful society today right now check out Steven Pinker's book the decline of violence. It's called the, the, the um, better angels by nature. He argued that yes, we are living the most peaceful time in history, and because there's a thing called culture. And here's the thing about culture. I think, see, Ali argued that culture gave us the idea of what beauty is. You know, tight ass, big boobs, and blonde hair. But I argue that culture is the way it is, mostly because nature is the way it is. 
That's not, it's not always the case, the, the, the various case by case, for, but for a lot of times, nature made culture a certain way. Even when culture and nature come in conflict, for example, men wants to fuck a lot of women because they have more sperm to give out and women only have one egg a month, so they don't have as much, they, their stakes are higher when they have to pick a better mate carefully, right? Nature said it's better for the species for men to fuck around. And because of that, culture, culturally, we must fight against that. So we invented marriage. Even that, when culture and nature is completely opposite in nature, uh, in, in, in its um, standard, it is all because of nature that culture wanted the other way, right? And for the sake of beauty, well, the, the, that, that's the same sort of the same way, right? Because we have a brain involved to pick up beauty cues like broad shoulders for men, muscularity for men, and, and sexy ass for women, culturally, we, we follow that standard, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, so, anyway, so I'm not disagreeing with uh, his end statement. Uh, I'm just coming from a different place. I do agree completely that um, when you want to pick someone to spend the rest, someone to spend the rest of your life with, you should definitely love them for uh, their their authenticity instead of imposing your imagination on them. But my, my difference is that, that the imagination that's a, a imposed by that person to his girlfriend, I think is universal. And I don't think it's his fault that he watches too much television. I think it, it, he's naturally inclined to find this woman more sexually attractive, maybe have better sex if she will have a tighter ass. Because, um, you know, because it, 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 it naturally, evolutionary speaking, um, we are turned on by uh, the, a form that would um, potentially give us better, healthier offsprings. And another thing that Elliot said that uh, I have a little problem with is that he said that that person is imposing the, the idea that uh, he wants her to look good because he thinks that looking good will make her healthier and that he's separating function from form. Right? He's saying that if he, she, her looking better doesn't mean that she's healthier, but if he uh, imposes on her, I mean, if she wants to be healthier, then she finds her own way to you know, do it, and, you know, increase strength, become a stronger version of herself. And um, I, I want to argue that um, I, I think in, in a way, uh, Elliot is a, 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 a sort of um, uh, falling into the trap of what he, the, the thing he's criticizing he's kind of doing the same thing where he's he wants people to only f focus on f function uh, instead of form but isn't that just another in, uh, imposition that's just another way of telling people uh, from his perspective uh, function strength what's done inside is more important and healthier according to but um, but I want to argue that um, that's not always that's not the case for every single individual. A lot of people would feel healthier psychologically and would actually become healthier if they look good. You know what I'm saying? Like and, and that's even truer for women because I don't think a lot of women really wants to work out for function. They're, they're, not a lot of women wants to increase their deadlift form. But if you uh, but I I I believe also evolutionarily speaking that women want to look a certain way. Not to, like like I said, not just because of commercials. They are genetically inclined to want to look that way, have the curve, you know, have the the, the, the ratio, the, 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 you know, hip to chest, whatever, waist ratio. And if they can uh, achieve that by, you know, exercising somewhat vigorously, you know, you don't have to kill yourself, you know, I believe that those women would be happier and healthier by looking better. So while again, I agree with him that um, you, you want your girlfriend to be healthy and you want her to feel healthy and she wants to do it on her own, not just you forcing her. I do believe that, um, I do believe that this person's girlfriend does want to look better too. It's not just his imagination. I think if she can, with a snap of finger without having to go to the gym, look like Britney Spears or Beyonce, I guarantee you she would be happier. Yeah, I, I, I really believe that's the case. And I believe that he would have a happier time fucking her. And I do believe that they would have a maybe better relationship. Maybe not, I don't know. But still, that doesn't mean I still agree with him that he shouldn't impose his belief on her. But I do think that uh, what he wants out of a girlfriend is it, it's justifiable from the naturalistic point perspective. And that they will both be happier if 